it's Kathy Kreskin and I am on my YouTube channel Geriatric Care One and we are doing care planning and this is the next episode and we're talking about interventions which are really solutions to the problem and you're Sherlock Holmes remember the geriatric care manager so interventions or solutions to the problem have to have a timeline and they have to have measurable goals I talked about in the last episode so an example is Mrs. Appletree lost her husband of 50 years and she has you know, the problem is loneliness you know because that's a long time to be married and you feel like half yourself is gone, which it is. Um, so the intervention is the geriatric care manager will visit weekly for one month uh, to help Mrs. Appletree uh, get used to the idea of engaging again in social activities to help the loneliness. Now, you know, after you lose your husband in 50 years, you're not going to dive into uh, bingo. <laughs> it's just not going to happen. <laughs> so, you know, that's a really good goal to take a month to visit and monitor each week and introduce very activities. Listen, you know, listen to her talk about, you know, what happened, the death of her husband. You need to reminisce. That's part of healing. That's part of mourning. Um, so it's a measurable goal. In one month, you hope, as the geriatric care manager, that Mrs. Appletree will be engaged in some social interaction, either community or family. We're going to talk about that. So you can have, actually, more than one intervention, intervention for one problem. And I'm going to give you an example, back to Mrs. Appletree. <laughs> so her problem is loneliness because her husband died and they were married for 50 years. So you can have several interventions. So the first intervention for Mrs. Appletree is that you're going to arrange a friendly visitor. Now they're not, you know, there been a lot of cutbacks here, so uh, if you can find one in your city, a friendly visitor to visit Mrs. Appletree weekly. Or you could actually, as a geriatric care manager, get a private duty health home care agency that has a companion that would just visit. Mm -hmm once a week, just to, to talk to her, because you're talking once a week, but I mean, you know, she lost her husband of 50 years, that's one, uh, intervention A. Intervention two is that you're going to try to get her to go to a women's support group uh, or a uh, widow's support group, either one, mm -hmm. at the Live Oak Senior Center. Now, I live in Santa Cruz, that's right here, right down the street from me, and actually my mother-in-law, who lived with me, she was 90 went to a women's support group so they do have women's support group for older people and they do have widows groups and so you want to get her you want to get mrs. Appletree involved in that that's another intervention another intervention is you would like mrs. Appletree the GCM would like to would like to get mrs. Appletree involved in her church again and I'm not particularly religious, but I believe strongly in spirituality for older people. Because you come to the end of your life and you wonder, what's this all about? That's spirituality. Religion is all the filing cabinets that have, this is what it's about. We're Catholics. This is what it's about. You know, we're Jewish. This is what it, it's about. Uh, you know, we're... Uh, Mormons. Mormons. Thank you. I have somebody filming. me. She loves orange, uh, and that's why I'm here, uh, using her orange pillows. So um, that's another goal. And then D, the intervention would be that uh, Blessed Christian Church, which Mrs. Uh, Appletree used to attend, will send someone to her house on a regular basis. This is all about loneliness because, you know, Miss, Mrs. Appletree needs to talk, and most church groups or synagogues will send a representative from the church uh, to visit, especially after death. And then the fifth uh, is a really important one. Statistically, the number one thing that helps widows is your sister. Statistically, that's really true. So GCM, Geriatric Care Manager, will encourage her sister to visit her. So there are, all, there are several interventions under loneliness, and so all of those are tried, and that's uh, in part of the care plan. Uh, now, since older people have chronic disease, your care plan isn't going to get heal them. Uh, you know, 
chronic disease usually does not go away. I have arthritis. I had both hips replaced. I'm probably going to have a knee, something done to it. You know, I'm getting older. Chronic disease doesn't go away. So your care plan isn't going to cure anybody. Uh, if you have a client named Mrs. Yates, she might have impaired mobility and she might end up with a history of two broken hips and not be able to walk again. That's just working with older people who, de who decline in their abilities to handle functional um, you know, needs that they have, like walking. Uh, so she might not get better. Your care plan uh, might be at this point to assist her in standing that would be okay, and you might have standby assistance in walking, but you're not going to get her out of bed and make her better. Arthritis usually does not go away. So next time we will tackle this again. It's care planning, and you can go to my website, kathycrest.com, find out all about me, and I will see you next time.